Okay, hello, hi, um, back again. Back again. I don't know what I'm doing today. I'm gonna go hang out with Sophia. <laughs> So this might be just like a vlog, I'm not really sure. I guess all my videos are vlogs because I'm like out and about doing things, but it's my really good friend's birthday this weekend. Uh, so we're gonna go get her a gift. We're gonna go to Sephora. Mm. Maybe I'll show you my outfit. My outfit's pretty boring today, but uh, I feel like this is a good representation of things that I like to wear. Just like a granny cardi yellow. Um, and then I have this skirt that I just kind of hiked up. It keeps rolling down. It's not like wildly you know, trendy or anything, but it's really comfortable and it's kind of hot out, but overcast. So I'm really sick of these running shoes. I really need to get like a new pair of shoes to wear. I just don't want to drop the coins, you know? This is the day bag. I don't know. I think Sophia thrifted this purse. Actually, she did. I know that she thrifted. I'm just trying to act like I don't know so I can get away with wearing it, but it is Sophia's, so... Thanks, Sosie. So I just talked to Sophia and she was wearing some jewelry and I was like, oh, I should put on some jewelry, I should accessorize. And I realized I don't have any, I've lost everything. So I need to get some new jewelry. Sometimes I find stuff at the thrift store that I really like. So I'm thinking today we're going to go and do a jewelry haul. Hopefully, if there's anything cool, that's what we're gonna do. Now this vlog has a direction, jewelry. So we just touched down um, at the mall. In London town. London town. I'm gonna go get a gift for our friend, okay? Yeah. We'll get her something nice. We'll get her like a calendar or something, so. <laughs> <laughs> gift nobody Don't wants. worry, girl, we're, we got you. We're gonna get you something that you really like. In Starbucks, yeah? Sure. Okay. The bitch. The biggest bitch of all. You're the biggest <laughs> I've ever known. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna have to cut that out! <laughs> You're being way too mean. Sorry. Okay, I need to know. We're in Ardeen right now, going places, and it's GP over it. I thought it was like a Grand Prairie special, like going places in Grand Prairie bag. No. Okay. Okay, people, pro hack. Never buy Birkenstocks. No, I'm just kidding. I actually have bought a pair of Birkenstocks myself once in my life, but I believe one of my shitty exes stole them from me. It is an open case. I am with 90% confidence that one of them has them. Anyways. A confidence interval. Confidence in okay, that's enough. Um, these are a good deal. It is what, 40% off or something at Ardeen. So we're looking at the faux Burks and the tones are really cute. I originally pointed out these yellow ones. I really like those. Um, the brown aren't bad too. And the black, um, what are these like little blush pair? I'm gonna get both. Oh, okay. So she's big spending on the Burks. Definitely check your knockoff stores because these don't look bad at all and I feel like you know, Birkenstocks are kind of something that no one wants to spend a wild amount of money on. When I say nobody wants to spend money on Burks, I'm just talking about myself. I'm projecting my feelings onto the world. There's lots of people who want to spend money on Burks, but I do not. So this is what I go for instead. So just go to Ardeen, okay? I talk myself into it. I'm gonna get these little yellow ones. How cute. In my first year of uni, I used to wear like real Burks with socks. I was that bitch. Maybe we'll just bring that back, huh? Okay, show us what you found. This is really cute. This is this a very- This goes my outfit. Yeah, distance your legs apart from each other. Yeah, like that. She's got some jean shorts. Yep, good stance, buddy. <laughs> some shorts. She has a little tied up top on, really cute. And then, yeah, this little purse actually complements with it really well, doesn't right, it? I'm gonna buy it. It's 12 bucks. All right, sold. Who knew? We did not want to come in this store today, but the girls are cashing out. What else can we find? We come over here to like look at the rainbow slides and Sophia looks at these and she says, oh my God, these are very Yeezy-esque and she's not wrong, you know? Cute. Those actually are really cute. And these too. Wow, all right, what the hell? The girl is walking away from our jean with two pairs of shoes and a bag. I need to check my bank account. Now is not the time to talk about your beard or your mustache, Sophia. We just popped into Prairie Mall, naturally. So it's three for 15. As it always is at Ardeen, I've got these little danglers. Um, honestly, I'm kind of copying Sophia's little danglers. She has uh -huh. these little, shut up. She has these little Should butterflies. We'll, we'll come back. We'll go, we will visit 
value village later these earrings i really like these so i am trying to copy her a little bit with these like little angels here a random side note i went out last night wearing these earrings and this guy came up to me and he said i like your owl earrings so um and then i got just these little earrings too these are like just kind of like I don't know. They're just gonna fit my earlobes nicely, I hope, but I'm worried that my earlobes are too fat for these. <laughs> like the fat from my lobes will be squishing out the other sides of these <laughs> and it'll look like ugly. Um, maybe I'll do a wear test. Oh my God. <laughs> eyes are super close together. Can we see? Wait, oh, can I see again? <laughs> I literally, like, why does it make my eyes look like they're squished together? Like, these are so ugly. Buddy! <laughs> she fuck! I tried them on in the store and I thought they were fine. They look they're like, kind of cute. They look like a bug. Bug. <laughs> in a bad way, like a cross eyed bug. Oh my god. <laughs> like a horse fly. That's fine. Oh, it's keeping the sun out. Yeah. It's serving its purpose. There is nothing I love more than re-piercing this hole every time I wear earrings. It's just fun. There's just blood and pain and my whole ear goes purple. It's just the best. Do you even have this one pierced? What, up there? Yeah. No, I took it out. This one up here? It was mega pain, yeah, that okay, one. Okay, this was probably my worst piercing experience of my life, like worse than my nose. It Mine hurt never healed, so much. Never. That was awful. Like me, Sophia, and Eilish all went and got this pierced at our cottage just because it'd be like cute and like Tumblr or something. I don't even know. But anyway, it was awful. Um, I decided to get a hoop in mine. So she like pierced it and was like raking the hoop through my <laughs> ear. So and like Sophia and Eilish, my older sister, they're just laughing at me. I'm laying on the table. I was like screaming. You were being like really dramatic. I am dramatic, but that hurt a lot. Like my nose, I took way better than that. It's like a theatrical show it was a th yeah it was like a broadway show or something it was too much that's the end of that story okay is this what, is this what i want I we're, okay so we're on the hunt for the perfect bush <laughs> we're trying to take photos we're feeling in the mood for some natural greens wait what kind of poop oh my god that would have ruined my day all right yeah this is a pretty tree you feel beautiful Beauty is objective, y'all. We're doing an accessories capture, Yay! aren't we? Yeah. yeah. But that was really great. Okay, so we just went to the park and took some photos. Um, day in the life. People are gonna think we're waste men. We, we are waste men. Two o'clock in the <laughs> afternoon and take photos. What's the day today? Thursday. <laughs> There's no day like a Thursday to go to the park and take photos. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you don't. Come, hey, come. fuck off! He's saying, get a job. Well, what's your job, huh? Disturbing the peace? This is actually a really pretty park. It's not bad. You hear the sirens in the background. There's a river over here that looks like iced tea. It's beautiful. Look how serene it is. I can see the stars when I'm gazing at you. Oh, that's nice. See? <laughs> no. Maybe this bush. Oh, you like this bush now? This is apparently the nicest bush in this park, according to the bush queen over here. The bush master, the bush expert, bush raider here says this is the best bush in Grand Prairie. Oh my god, I whipped my tripod into the air and I am so stupid, I don't know where it is. They're like 40 bucks. Oh, I see it. In the bushes, I threw it right here. All right, ready to go. Like the great Cheryl Crow said, it's not about wanting what you want, it's about wanting what you've got. Did you really say that? Yes, in Soak Up the Sun. It's not wanting what you want. You get the gist. We went to Ardeen and I got some cute little pieces. This she little wants more. angel girl here and then this little piece. And then I tried to shove something through <laughs> this fucker and it just bled and now it's mad, so yeah. It changed because I was so uncomfortable. Oh yeah, she had a wardrobe change. I you just hate being on a mission, like walking around, like looking for things in particular and having to worry about like what my shirt's doing. Yeah. And if it's covering my boobs and all that jazz, you know? Absolutely. It's like, you know when you go to the mall and you want to look really cute because, you know, you're at the mall, you're shopping for new clothes you and then- You might meet your husband at the mall. You could meet, you could meet the damn queen at the mall. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> You can meet your husband, a wizard, whoever. 
Anyway, you don't want to look like a loser. So you dress nicely, but then the minute that you're there, you wish that you had your hair in a ponytail. You wish you had slip-ons on. You wish you were wearing a t-shirt. You wish that you were wearing a t-shirt. Okay. We're going inside. Okay, so I'm just looking at jewelry and it's a little bit sad. Normally they have more hoops and earrings. Just have necklaces, like keychains and sunglasses. That's okay though, because I got lots of stuff at Ardeen. But these are actually kind of cute. Ooh, these are kind of cool too. Oh my god, there's actually lots of cool little gold hoops. If I find one more slip, someone needs to yank it out of my grasp. There's no one over here, so I'm gonna show you what I found for jewelry. So I found these earrings, which are cool. I like these because they're just dangly, and I can pair them with other hoops, I think, because they're kind of long, so cool. This is for my sister. She's gonna be a teacher this fall for like the first time. Her first, well, she's substitute taught for like a long time now, but she has a class, so I thought I'd get her that. And then I got these earrings as well. They're really, they're cute. They're just like little hoops with some like detailing on them. I picked up this bra. My mother would not be happy with me if she saw me buying a bra from Value Village, but too bad, mom. I don't want to spend a ton on bras. Sorry, this isn't like the best shot. I'm just like sitting on the floor, but it looked pretty clean and I liked that it said Vogue on it. <laughs> he is gonna show us some of her things that she's just picked, but she's a little shy. The only reason that I picked this was because it's like old Le Chateau. Yeah, okay, so if yeah, anyone doesn't know cool. the history of Le Chateau, um, they used to be cool. Yeah, they used to be actually like really out there and very edgy, according to our mom. I guess this vintage dress is proof that they once had some flair. These little bags, I just like the color of them. These are cute. I like this pink one. It's really dirty though. Yeah. We'll have to give it a wash maybe. And then this I just thought was kind of cute. Okay, does anyone remember like these little rosebuds being super popular when you were a kid? I swear I had like tank tops with these little rosebuds in the middle. I really like this color. Very interesting. It ties around the neck. Oh my god, for some reason the first thing I thought of was Eva Longoria in Desperate Housewives. I think Housewives. it could be sexy. I think you it know? could be too. Yeah, I like it. Okay, I need to show you something because I clearly have a problem. Oh my god, another one. Okay, but hold the camera. Look at this. It ties. I feel like we both have just exhausted this. Okay, so I should leave it behind. I know they're gonna be really crazy. Just tell him She feels ugly and she's so pretty. <laughs> okay. No, here's the tea. Tell him you feel good And then you go to take a photo and you're like, holy shit That's not good <laughs> But yeah. there's a lot of different factors. It's not that you're ugly. It's that maybe okay You need to take a video of our dog right now. Okay, this is our dog. Oh my god. She sits she's, a good girl. she's really good, but she's so awkward. She sits like right on her rump on like the most Probably the most uncomfortable position. She's old you old stinky. Yeah, she fucking reeks. We bathe her, it just makes her smell worse. Yeah, we try to like clean her up, give her baths. Like, if anyone knows how to like clean up a Great Dane nicely, let us know. The moral, the takeaway here is that sometimes you look good in real life and sometimes you look bad in person. Wait. <laughs> sometimes you look really good in real life and sometimes you look bad on film. And that's just the way it's gonna be. Does that just mean that your perception is skewed? Better not. You're ruining my confidence right now. Sometimes you just look better in person. And I think that's what you want to look like, right? You want to look better in person, don't you? Hmm. Here's the light. Okay, so here I am filming the outro for my last video. I think I deleted everything by an accident, so I'm filming it outside right now. But yes, I just wanted to sign off and say thank you for watching. Uh, it means a lot to me. If anyone's watching, um, I've been having some friends reach out and letting me know that they like watching my vlogs and it means so much to me. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep making them for those of you who enjoy this weird content. Um, it is possibly the only hobby I've ever truly like had in my life, I think, which is kind of sad to say. I 
literally think about doing it all the time and I love doing it so much so if anyone even likes to watch it then that's cool with me so feeling sweet I guess if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe um leave a like if you want or do nothing whatever <laughs> um and I'll see you in the next video bye this concludes a what a day wait say it with me a day, day in, in the, the life of a waste, waste man. man. <laughs> yeah. All right. Vlog over.